Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to be playing on fixing my headlights. We're going to see if this new lens by Mothers works actually well. I've seen pictures, videos on it, but I want to test it myself because my headlights are really, they don't look good. So we're just going to give this a shot and let you know how it is. Alright, so we plan on doing like a series of testing out products to see if it actually works for your car. So there's a lot of products out there saying they work and they do this and that for your car. But do they actually work? So this product here, by uh, Mother's New Lens, we're going to see if this product actually works and says what it's supposed to do. For this, this is why I plan on having to use a drill. It could be cordless or corded, whatever you want. The Mother's New Lens kit comes with um, the polish, the plier, Velcro, the Velcro drill bit so you can put on the sandpaper and later on that, and the polish. But that I'm going to open later. You also need a spray bottle so you can wet the headlights, both of them. Tape so you can tape off all around it. I'm going to get a microfiber towel too, so you can wipe it down when you're done. So first we're going to be taping off the headlights. Alright, so now we're going to be opening up the um, kit, see what's in it. This here's the polish for it. So this is the last step. After you're done with all the sanding layers, you throw the polish on. This here is the Velcro, the Velcro for the bit. The Velcro is going to fit onto the polish, polish buffer. It's also going to fit onto these sandpapers down here. That's the blower grit. This is 1500 and 800 grit. This here is a 3000 grit sandpaper. Alright, first we're gonna get this 800 grit sandpaper, which is the first sandpaper we're gonna be needing. It comes with two 800s and two 1500s, so you could do one for each headlight. So it does give you enough for each headlight. Put this on quick. Alright, next, you're gonna wanna soak the headlight. Just get a spray bottle, just with water, and just soak it down. First, I'm gonna wipe it off with a microfiber towel, get whatever dirt, dirt, dust, and debris on here off. Because I don't want to have to be, I don't want the sandpaper to be pushing more dust or anything onto the headlight that there already is. Now, just doing the, now just doing it with the microfiber towel in the water, you can see how dirty the actual headlight is. Right now, we're gonna show you what a, an actual close-up of what the headlights really look like. Uh, okay, now we should keep, I'm gonna wet it down one more time and wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Just to play it safe, make sure nothing left is on there. So I'm gonna wet it again, a lot. I switched to a cordless drill because it's a little bit easier to control. And the other one's too powerful, I wasn't, I didn't want to scratch my headlights. So you're just gonna go over it and just sand over all the um, surface. It's gonna look very cloudy, but it's supposed to look this way. Play it safe. I took it off, but now I'm gonna do the rest with my hand, just because I want to get the corners like, up here. I couldn't really reach with the other with the drill. Alright, now the next step after this is just to wipe it down with a towel. So that's what I'm gonna do with my microfiber towel. Wipe it all down, and as you can see, the headlight looks very very foggy but it's supposed to look like this it says so we're going to continue to the next grid of sandpaper which is the 1500 but first we're going to have to re-wet it again and re repeat the same steps but just with the new, new sandpaper grid so now we have the 1500 grid sandpaper on here we're going to repeat uh, what we just did but now with the 1500 grid so we're going to wet it down again then wet down this a little bit now I'm going to go on here again Finish 
finished with the 1500. I went along with this again, do all the corners. Now I'm going to repeat the steps and wipe it all off again. Now when you're putting the 3000 grid on, this step it says don't use, don't make it wet. So I'm just going to put it on, just sand it dry. Now I just finished 3000 sanding, so I'm just going to wipe it over one more time. It's still cloudy, but not as cloudy as it was after the, tr the previous steps before this. So the next step is to polish. All right, now we're gonna put the polish head on this Velcro. All right, so now we're done sanding. We're gonna start the polishing. It says you have to add the polish here, right onto the top of this. Just It says here, the size of a nickel should be the amount you put on. And if you need more, do as you need. But first, go like this. Dynamical. Then you gotta open the container first. <laughs> That'll help. Right. I gotta take this. I don't know how big a nickel is. That's a pretty bad shaped nickel, but we'll see what we can do. I honestly feel like I need more polish. Now they say it's needed, so I'm just gonna throw some more on this and play it by there. It says try to keep polish, the polish motion going for like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go for 10, 10 or 15 minutes. I'm just gonna speed it up. All right, I think we're good now with um, applying the polish part now. So just to grab a microfiber towel and wipe off whatever polishes, which is the last step. All right, let's see if how this works. So this is our finished product. I'm not too pleased with it. It's okay, but it is what it is. All the cloudiness that was originally up around the top of the headlight is gone. But now that I feel since the cloudiness is gone, you're able to see the scratches a lot more clearly. So I'm gonna compare this headlight here on the driver's side to the passenger side. This headlight here, all around here is all cloudy. I don't know how clear you can see this in the video, but it's all cloudy up here, and the scratches are down here. So on the driver's side headlight over there, the, um, the new lens, it did remove the cloudiness. I feel it didn't do much for the scratches or wear and tear on the rest of the headlight, which makes it look worse in my opinion. So it does remove the cloudiness and the fog, haze, whatever you want to call it. But removing it makes the rest of the headlight clean. And wherever the scratches and wear and tear are, it's you see it more. All right, so now we're gonna repeat whatever we did on that headlight over here. We're not gonna record that, just we're gonna repeat the same exact steps that we did on that headlight over here. Okay guys, so both headlights are done now. Overall, the mother's new lens, it did what it said it was gonna do. It removed the fogginess and the haze, which was, used to be all on top of both headlights. It was foggy all up here. Now that all the fogginess and haze is gone, well, you see a lot more of the scratches. So I don't know what I'm going to have to do about that. But definitely the new lens did take away the fogginess. Just now i got to worry about the scratches here. If it worked, I'd say it worked a little bit. If you want, if your headlights are foggy, not scratch, I definitely say you should buy it because the fogginess is definitely gone. But scratches wise, I'm not sure what to do about that yet. Alright guys, that's a new video for this video. We just did the headlight. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like, comment, thank you. Bing.